Now, you see that flame. Every time you pronounce the letter H correctly, the flame will waver, and every time you drop your H, the flame will remain stationary. That's how you'll know if you've done it correctly. In time, your ear will hear the difference. See it better in the mirror. Now, listen carefully. In Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. Now, repeat that after me. In Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. In Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. Oh, no, 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 no. No ear at all. Shall I do it over? No, please. Start from the very beginning. Just do this. Go, ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Go on, go on, go on. Ha, ha. Ha. Does the same thing hold ha. true in India? Pickering is peculiar habit of not only dropping ha. a letter like the letter H, but using where it doesn't belong, ha. like heaven or whatever. Those are Slavs when ha. they learn English have a tendency to go with their G's. They say ha. linger instead of linger. Ha. And they turn right round and say ha. singer instead of ha. singer. Those the Slavs when using it where it isn't needed to learn English have to do it with their G. The girl, Higgins. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Ha. Poor ha. Professor Higgins. Ha. Poor ha. Professor Higgins. Ha. 